Hi everyone, this is Amy from the Helms Academy and today we'll be talking about some formulas for the science test on the GED, the high set, and the task. So we're going to talk about three common formulas that may show up on the test. Density formula, the power formula, and the kinetic energy formula. Let's start with density today. Now when I think about density, I like to think of the image down at the bottom. You can see different liquids stacked together in one jar and you can tell their density by where they land the most dense at the bottom and the least dense at the top so when you think of something like honey which is very thick that has a high density whereas something like lamp oil which moves quickly is very thin can spread easily that would have a low density so when i think about density i want to keep in mind the equation which looks like this it's a character, it's a great character, looks kind of like a P, equals M divided by V. And that means density equals mass divided by volume. So it will be written in this format, but what you need to remember is to get that density, find the mass, find the volume, and then divide. Let's look at an example of that. This says, what is the density of a bottle that has a mass of 25 grams and a volume of 30 cubic centimeters. Well, to figure that out, we'll have to use our formula. So let's plug in the information. We're trying to solve for density, but we need to fill in the mass and the volume. Well, we know the mass is 25 and the volume is 30. So we'll do 25 divided by 30, which is 0.83. And the way that we write out density would be the type of mass that we're using. So in this case, grams, and then it will be over centimeters cubed or per centimeters cubed. So we have 0.83 grams per cubic centimeter or centimeters cubed. Next, let's take a look at power. So power is represented with the capital P and it equals energy divided by time. So if we look at that in context, it says how much power is required to do 200 joules of work in four seconds. Well, joules is a way of looking at energy and four seconds is our time. So if we have power equals energy divided by time, then we will do 200 for the 200 joules and we'll put in the time, which is four seconds. So 200 divided by four. When we put that together, we get the number 50. But the way that power is described when we put it in this uh, specific formula is we will have the unit of watts at the end. So our answer then is 50 watts. For kinetic energy, we see K for kinetic energy equals half times M times V squared. So the way we can read that is kinetic energy equals half times mass times velocity squared. So M for mass, V for velocity. Kinetic energy, I like to think of like a roller coaster. It's your moving energy. So our kinetic energy problem says, a cheetah can run briefly with a speed of 31 meters per second. Suppose a cheetah with a mass of 47 kilograms runs at this speed. What is the cheetah's kinetic energy? Well, we're gonna pull up our formula for kinetic energy and we're gonna fill in what we know. So we don't know what the kinetic energy is yet, so we'll leave our K. We can fill in the M and the V. The M being the mass is 47 kilograms. And the V velocity would be the 31 meters per second. So we'll put 31 in there. Now using the order of operations, we need to solve the squared part first. So we know that 31 squared will be 961. And now we just need to multiply across. So half times 47 times 961 equals 22,583.5 joules. Now again, joules is what we're going to use when we're talking about kinetic energy for our final answer. Thank you so much for watching today and good luck on your science test. We have lots of other videos to check out on the Helms Academy channel for whatever test you're preparing for, for the GED, high set and task. We hope that you'll check out more videos, give a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe so you get the latest updates. You can also check out the Helms Academy on Instagram and Facebook and on our website at helmsacademy.org.